Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of endoscopy at the Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I'm also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this video, I'll be discussing Helicobacter pylori. Helicobacter pylori is an extremely common infection. It is estimated that up to 50% of world population are infected by this organism. Helicobacter pylori appears to be transmitted through a fecal oral route. Hygienic condition appears to be an important factor in its transmission. And as a result, individual from poor hygienic condition appears to be more prone and likely to contract this illness. Not surprisingly, Helicobacter pylori is more common in lesser developed countries. Helicobacter pylori requires acid to grow. Therefore, it is found primarily in the human stomach. Over the years, Helicobacter pylori causes chronic and persistent inflammation in the stomach, which result in chronic gastritis. Helicobacter pylori can also cause an ulcer either in the stomach or in the first portion of the small intestine called duodenum. It can also cause pre-malignant condition including atrophic gastritis, intestinal metaplasia, and gastric dysplasia. There is a marked increased risk of Helicobacter pylori induced incidence of stomach cancer. Studies have shown that there is up to six-fold increased risk of developing stomach cancer in individuals infected with this infection. Treatment of Helicobacter pylori appears to reduce this risk. There are several methods of diagnosing Helicobacter pylori. They include blood tests, testing for antibody against the organism. It is relatively simple test, but is limited by the fact that the antibody may last many years even after the treatment of the infection. Therefore, it is not very accurate in testing for an active infection. Other tests include urea breath tests and stool antigen tests. More commonly, however, we perform an upper endoscopy examination, carefully examining the entire lining of the stomach for any significant illnesses and at the same time taking a small sampling or a biopsy of the stomach wall to test for the Helicobacter pylori either under the microscope or using a special test called clot test. The treatment of Helicobacter pylori usually involves three medications called triple therapy. They include two antibiotics and one proton pump inhibitor that suppresses the acid secretion in the stomach. When the triple therapy is given for a duration of two weeks, you can expect up to 80 to 90 percent cure rate from this infection. Helicobacter pylori is an extremely common problem that can cause gastritis, ulcer, and even development of stomach cancer. It is an extremely important illness, and if the infection is detected, I urge you to treat this infection both to treat for gastritis and ulcer, and as a means to prevent the development of stomach cancer. I hope I have been able to provide you with a brief summary of this very important clinical entity called Helicobacter pylori. Thank you for listening.